What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Still have some chickens roaming about. Numbers have decreased a little bit because I've filled in some of the holes they've been getting out of, but it's all these white chickens, the leggings, and that chicken. Ones that can fly and I can't catch. But here's a little kitten getting bigger. Laying out in the middle of the Horse barn, but chickens going crazy in the barn. We're gonna feed them in a second. It's a hot day, it's 98 degrees outside right now. Heat index is 115, so hot. Windy too. Hey guys, I'm gonna try a new thing and let you guys suggest videos that I do, whether they be informational or just stuff I do around the farm. Um, so leave any suggestions in the comments, please. We went and got monthly food, so got a bunch of food there. Unfortunately, this bag and I think like half of another bag got wet. Because we've been having tons of rain all this weekend. And then on Monday, we got more than four inches of rain, which is rare for us. And I also picked up this kitty pool we're going to put in Reggie's pen. Because they run out of water pretty quick. And I'm also planning to put some more chickens in there soon. So I can hatch out some more guys in the incubator. So, and I also switched their the chicks feed over to this it's um like medicated food it has more minerals and stuff in there for the chicks but i poured in some of that bag that had the wet stuff and it kind of has a, a little bit of clumps in there but worked out fine and dried out trying to get food early There's all the chickens eating their food. The ducks are the ones that are always hungry. I have to put their food in a certain spot because anywhere else I put it, the grass will be gone. And the grass in the pen is keeping itself up pretty well with all the chickens going through. But they liked it when it rained because they would go around and eat all those bugs. If you missed my live stream, um, Sunday, I think I had it, um, we hit 500 subscribers, but I'm going to try to do more live streams like that and kind of do more regular videos live though, because for some reason our signal just got better out here and so I can do live streams more. The problem with li at, um, Oklahoma's heat will just kill my camera when it's doing stuff like that. I did put some more chickens in here. One was having problems walking. Here's the chicks. It's windy right here. They're doing good. Here's the crazy hair one. Usually when they're about this age, I'll start putting their food on the ground so they know how to peck around and stuff more. Ducks are jealous of the food. You know, they just ate. up draining our pool finally got it up and running sorry for my irregular uploading schedule lately I've been busy with the chickens and everything but 
I went around and filmed the kitten with the chickens today. I put her in the chicken pen. She used to come out here when she could fit through the 2 by 4 wire, but a little bigger now, just hangs out in Reggie's pen. But I will not be uploading for the next uh, seven or eight days because we'll be busy away from here. So that's what that will be. I think she's more interested in the grass than any of the birds. That's the main chicken. There's their dirt bath. I'm back in the chick pen. The chickens seem more interested in the cat than the cat did in the chickens. Someone ha asked how one leg is doing. She's doing just fine. Today in the corner nest, we have the black astrolabe that's broody. Day before we had the Leporpington and the day before that we had the Brahma. I guess this is a popular area. So these nests a mess. I'm gonna get them cleaned out right now. Fluffy chicks. Just got about a dozen eggs today, so egg production is definitely down. I don't blame them though. It's really hot today. Another thing that's been going around is sightings of snakes. I've probably seen like one here and we've lived here for about three years and we saw two in, uh, just today or last night and this morning 
so it's probably because it rained a whole bunch and they're all coming near we do have one pond that's on our other property right across the way that always keeps water in it and has turtles and it's like a swamp pretty much but be looking out for those i've never had one in my nesting boxes and it seems like everybody else has before so i'll be having a look out for that but i'm going to attempt to catch buck the brown goat laying down somehow he got off his collar well i got buck only took me about two minutes to do just had to sneak up on him when he he was dozing off Try to get him an hour. Took me like an hour to get him last time. Goats are doing good. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure to share the videos with your friends, and I'll see you next time.